Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So this video is not about any information. Rather, here I'll be sharing my story uh, or my journey when I was doing uh, my MTech at ISC. So how was my experience in the first semester? That I am going to discuss in this video. So I have said I have made many videos regarding ISC on different subtopics like you know how was my initial initial few months, how difficult it was to cope up in the first semester, then how did I choose my guide uh, how was my overall you know placement experiences how how was my experience for the publishing my first paper so so many things i have already made a uh, few videos and the link i'll be given in the description if you have missed those videos you can go and check it out but you know many of you have asked me to share the story i mean how was the first semester how was the second semester so semester wise uh, you have asked me to make videos so that you have the idea that uh, you know how was the overall journey and what are the difficulties that i faced first semester uh, so that you will also have an idea that you know if if, if, if you are uh, going to join isc in the coming days or if you have just joined this uh, in this semester so then you will have you will have an idea that you know each semester what are difficulty you also you know might face so this video will be the first part of this series so i'll make four videos regarding my four semesters so in today's video i'll be sharing uh, i'll be sharing uh, how was my experience in the first semester uh, you know like what are the courses that i have taken you know how was my our freshers and you know how 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 the, how the difficulties comes in the courses uh, in the mid of the semester and how did i cope up with that pressure so everything i'll i'll, I'll be discussing in this video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video as you always say if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly without further ado let's start into today's video so let's start with the very first day so the date was 24th july 2018 when you all reported to isc main building where i was document verification was done first and then they gave us this uh, student id card after that we all moved to hostel office for our hostel and mess allocation so as i already mentioned in one of my previous videos that in isc hostel allocation is completely random so it's kind of a lottery based system where you have to pick up your lottery or cheat and whichever hostel name would be uh, written there that will be your hostel unfortunately i got p block uh, so p block is probably the last building of isc uh, you know hostel campus and the mess i got i was satisfied with because i was aiming for b mess and fortunately i got b mess but the i was not happy with the hostel building because that was the last uh, hostel uh, in the in the isc campus and i have to come you know i have to walk so far to come to b mess and have my meal and it's not only about me there are two uh, very quite a few amount of students who also got the p block so you all talked with the hostel authority and they assured us that within one month you all will be bring us to this main main hostel campus and you will be given a new hostel and exactly the same thing they did uh, so within four weeks you know there was an advertisement that you can you can come to hostel office and pick up your new uh, new hostel so then again you know there was a lottery system but yeah this time uh, all the lottery was from the from the different blocks which is you know ki kind of central position in the isc hostel and this time i got you know n block that is near to the servant complex and yeah this is how the whole thing happens in the initial initial few days at isc next is our orientation program so from the first week of august our classes were uh, started and the very first two days we had our orientation in csa department uh, so in the orientation we got introduced to all the professor in the department then they presented about the whole curriculum of mtech uh, mtech or mtech research and each of the professor also presented about uh, the different courses that they are taking in, in the first semester so we got an overall idea about the detail of each of the courses and from each of the labs a uh, few lab members came and they presented what was the research work going on in in their lab so this was the overall you know orientation program where we got you know a rough idea of different courses different labs and different curriculum that has been offered in the in the department and we are instructed after that that to attend all the classes for next 15 days and then choose uh, which are the four subjects you are interested in uh, for the for the semester now it's very difficult to you know understand a particular subject where you are whether you are interested in that subject or not just having you know two or three classes for the next uh, two weeks uh, because these subjects initially you won't be understanding too much uh, initially you might feel that you are interested in this particular topic because initially when you will be attending the classes you, you will be watching the class from a very high level 
now when the time will go you know the course will go into depth then maybe you you will find it difficult so this is something that i have realized after doing a few semester but in the first semester just doing two or three classes in the first two weeks it's very difficult for all of us to understand which course we are interested in and which course we are not so what we did was we talked with uh, our, our seniors we talked among ourselves and then we just decided uh, the courses like in the, in the in the first semester from the theory pool most of the students took algorithm course from the C pool or uh, intelligence system pool most of the students took linear algebra and probability and from B pool you know there are a lot of courses available that's why you know many students got different courses like personally I took in you know, a computer architecture and there is a course uh, being offered that is program analysis and verification uh, that is PAV so these four courses I, I, I have chosen for my first semester completely based on the discussion uh, with, the, with, the, with the seniors and with the, with the fellow students because we didn't have any idea uh, what's what what is waiting for us after two months or three months in each of these courses so this is how the you know for the within within first two weeks we have chosen uh, these four courses we have registered for registered for these courses and our semester got started now the next big thing that happened on 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 the august uh, that was our freshers uh, so the date was 18 august 2018 uh, when our senior organized the freshers party for us and it was really special moment for all of us because it was our freshers party and especially for me it was even more special because exactly before you know it was on 20 2018 and exactly 10 years before in 2008 i got my btech fresher so this was kind of a special feelings for me and it was a grand party i mean we uh, our seniors booked a, a hotel for this uh, for this party and we all moved to that hotel we had lot of games there where we all pa participated and uh, I mean and they, it, the game was that the team was formed such a way uh, um, you know there are few seniors also in the team and, and few juniors also in the team so that you know we can have an interaction with all of our seniors and we can form our form bonding with you uh, with each of the each of the seniors and few of us uh, also acted in some uh, some acts there like personally i did a mimicry act and which is there in my channel i i hope many of you have seen that act if you haven't seen that act i'll be giving the link in the description or it might come in the i button you can go and check it out and it was it was a super fun i mean there are a lot of lot of uh, activities was there our seniors you know performed even a dance uh, act so it was completely you know uh, fun for, uh, fun uh, for that particular evening where we, we got inter interacted with all of the all of our seniors and we enjoyed among ourselves so this is how the freshers party happened and we all enjoyed that evening uh, you know interacting with with our seniors yeah this is how the august uh, month went and we all were uh, were enjoying our campus life we were visiting few places here and there we were posting photos classes have started but pressure was not that much so we are not feeling anything uh, we had our pressures then you know we were doing few birthday parties and uh, there are few few students fellow students who had birthday on august so we enjoyed that also so this is how the whole thing was, was started and we didn't have any idea what's waiting for us from the next month so the huge pressure uh, that is waiting for us from the next month so our seniors was continuously warning us that you know keep on uh, studying the things that is being studied uh, that is being taught in the classes but you know until unless you are feeling the pressure however you know whoever uh, tells you about that thing you won't feel it uh, so that was the difficulty and from the very first week of september the pressure started coming so from the four courses you know the instructor um, had given us different assignments which we had to submit within two or three weeks i mean within september only you have to submit then this was the first thing so i personally got four uh, you know assignments from four, four uh, from the from the four subjects that i have chosen then in the mid of september we had our midterm and what happened was you know we had almost you know two exams per day this is how the pressure was there and even we had few assignment deadline on the same day i still remember suppose i have on a particular day i have two exams and in the midnight i have deadline for a for a assignment so this was the pressure suddenly come uh, you know suddenly comes up into our life and we don't know we didn't know how to cope up with it because you know till august end we are enjoying our life and in the september mid 
we had four assignments four exams and even you know uh, i think one subject i have a um, project also course project so course project proposal also i need to submit uh, at the end of the september so this was the pressure in the september suddenly raised and we all was you know kind of clueless how to handle this much of thing so then we realized what our senior were continuously warning us that suddenly there will be lot of pressure uh, so you shouldn't take it lightly so from the very beginning you should have you know studied for 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 whatever is taught in the classes but we all neglected that and suddenly we we felt that you know we are already in the in the danger now so i i uh, personally how i was doing so for the three subjects i was doing pretty well like the algorithm course and the linear algebra probability and architecture uh, my my performance was average but the fourth subject that i have taken that is program analysis and verification that i was literally struggling because that was though that was a system course but that was completely mathematical you know it's completely related to discrete math you know the lattice structure set theory and all and as in iisc you know any theoretical course you, you choose you have to prove a lot of things and in the mid mid semester of that particular course what i realized was that you know i was not doing well uh, because they were asking too many proofs and i am not able to prove that i am personally not a very good theory guy Uh, so proving is not my cup of tea so i was lagging a lot and then in the assignment also i was not doing well so then i decided that i'll be dropping this course now this was a difficult part of of your life at isc because you have joined isc with so high ambition and within two months you know you are in so so much pressure that you are thinking of dropping a course and when i started you know discussing this with my few of my closest friend they are also not you know uh, you know kind of encouraging me to drop the course because they are saying that then i have to do one more course in the final semester but you know problem was uh, what i felt was that this particular course was affecting my 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 other courses like in this architecture linear algebra probability and algorithms and in the first semester it's very crucial to maintain a good cgpa because at the end of first semester your guide will be decided and if you don't have a good cgpa you, you might not get a good guide so that's why though everybody was telling me not to drop the course i i i decided that i'll be dropping the course and i'll take a one course in the final semester and i that time also i didn't find any any <laughs> any logic not taking a course in the final semester and today also i don't you know don't find anything because this is a four uh, semester curriculum there is no restriction that you can't take a course in the, in the final semester so i can take a course in the final semester so that was my decision and personally i feel that because of that at the end of uh, semester my cgp was good and i personally feel that if i continue doing that course which i was not at all liking uh, it might affect my final grading so in the mid of october i dropped that course and i continued for for the next um, the other three courses that i had taken and you know from from uh, from october november it was huge pressure i mean uh, from each of the courses uh, assignments you know was uh, kept on coming and there was to, some more mid terms also in few few courses like in architecture i remember there is another mid term in linear algebra probability also there was another mid term and even for the algorithm also there was another mid term and then there was a final term at the end of the november so yeah this was the whole scenario but thankfully as i had only three courses so i was focusing each of them equally and at the end of the semester uh, what i found was my cgp was 8 which is a good cgp if you consider isc uh, because in isc getting 7 point itself is very difficult so having a 8 was difficult but though you know i had dropped a course that was a benefit but yeah thankfully because of that i i, I maintain a good cgp so yeah this was the whole whole you know whole uh, story of the first semester there was huge pressure lots of assignment lots of you know exams that you have to give i still remember i didn't even come back home during durga puja and diwali because the pressure was so much that i didn't have that courage that you know take leave go back to home because that time you know losing one or two days is huge because there are too many assignments pending too many mid term and even you know in architecture i was doing a project so in the project you know i had to do a lot of work and and in isc the project is actually a research project so it's not something a development or something so you have to read paper and then get some idea and implement it so yeah this was about my whole first semester so this is how we lost 
started you started way in a very lighter note it a very uh, you know uh, in a very good 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 way uh, that we all were enjoying we all are having you know good, good time at isc but suddenly uh, things got changed uh, suddenly too much assignment used to come too much uh, exams used to come and we all had to keep up with but yeah i mean <laughs> one thing i'll just suggest whoever has joined isc this time that the don't take it in a lighter way in the very first few weeks so keep on studying hard from the very beginning so that you know you don't feel uh, this pressure in the mid of september so that's it guys that's it about this video please let me know your thoughts how you feel about this video and if you like this video please like it and share this video to many other people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about this video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye